Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer portion of a Resident Evil 3 that will be releasing on April 3rd. Today I want to show you a little bit about a character called Tyrone. He is the best character in the beta, hands down, and I'm going to show you why. So first let's talk about his skills. His passive skills are okay. He can automatically restore health when he's on low HP, and he takes less damage from traps. Where he's really great, really great, are his active skills. His pump up skill. That allows him to kick forward, and it stuns zombies, flips them over. It's a great counter to Daniel. It's a great counter to Lickers. It's a great counter to Mr. X. It's a great counter to a room filled up with zombies. And then his fever skill, or his ultimate skill, is safeguard. And that makes it so everybody on the team takes way less damage, which is great if a machine gun goes off. It is great if Mr. X shows up. It's great if you're just getting overwhelmed. Tyrone can carry a team. He's kind of the protector, and it... I'm telling you, a great Tyrone can make it uh, make or break a team. Now, that being said, this is a team game. Resident Evil Resistance is a game where you have to do your job. And if one person isn't doing it, the mastermind's going to win. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you good practices with Tyrone. But keep in mind, if things don't work out, the mastermind could be good. Our team could be you bad. There's a lot of things that the could go not wrong. in our favor or we could just not work together well as a team first thing you want to check for is to see if there's a steel bat because steel bat helps out tyrone a lot because it allows him to one hit dogs and one hit traps where right now i got a two hit it see and that sucks so you want to be able to one hit those things now we have a controlled tough zombie here which is a smart move by him i kind of want my team here i don't want to do this on my own but they are taking a whale so i'm going to try to control here Oh, he's attacking his own zombies, so he's a doofus. Okay. Well, you see that kick? That disables the controlled zombies. Disabling the control... Oh. All right, we gotta move. We gotta wiggle. Gotta wiggle. Gotta wiggle. You got a machine gun early. I can't use safeguard against it. Because I don't have it yet. It has a cooldown. My fever skill isn't activated yet. I don't want to kick the door open. I'm gonna have Sam do it. Tyrone should not be the one who kicks open doors. He should be the one who backs up a kick open door. Watch your feet. Oh, come on! I tried to aim at the ground and clear the trap, and then I swung forward. I'm gonna use that kick to disable the zombie here. We're also gonna work on this guy. Perfect. Now let's try to make sure we don't skip over any puzzle pieces here and just kind of pick everything up around the ground here. Tyrone starts with repair kits, so you... The game's trying to convince you to go ahead and do melee with him, which I would recommend. Do this. Nice. Every time you clear a trap or... Every time you clear a trap, like hold or landmine, you get 10 seconds. Where it gets a little confusing is if you clear a landmine and you're right next to it. There we go. That was a perfect kick. If you clear a landmine and you're right next to it, you're only going to get 5 seconds back. Because each person that the landmine hurts takes 5 seconds off the clock. So you don't want to be all grouped up on the landmines. Oh, back up. So you got 10 seconds for that because there's two people there. Now, something that happens with the landmines is that... I'll make sure we didn't miss anything yeah. here. Is that they can work in your favor as a survivor if the... Mastermind is foolish and then places them all on the... You're gonna clear it, Jan? You're waiting for me? Okay, well, I guess I'll do it since you're not doing it. It's always a Jan, man. I want to back up here. We don't have any lights. Trying to I don't know what Jan's doing, honestly. I really don't know what she's doing. Oh, but now the zombie's on the door. Oh, look at that. Okay, kick. Cleared a little bit in here. I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to get in and get out. Hopefully not get grabbed. Get in and get out. Come on. Ooh, come on, stun him. Kick. I'm hoping the team's all together here. Come on, come on, we can get out. Now this is where you gotta pay attention, chat. Everybody go, everybody go, everybody go, come on. Okay, supply zombie might be worth it. And they did do a good job clearing here. I'm going to try to get an easy 10 seconds. That's what we got. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I used my... All right, she's just sitting in there raving or something. All right, we got to go. Get near me and I'll heal you. Perfect. Did she use her ult? One really cool move that Valerie can do is she can use your ult and then be healed during this cutscene. That's a great way of, to use up your time wisely. Let's see what we have in here. So we got Steel Bat now. Sometimes you get lucky and you get Sledgehammer. 
But we got steel bats. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. He's controlling a zombie over there is what I'm hearing. So I'm going to try to grab a repair kit because I'm already low. I don't want to buy two because I want to save up a little bit. I'm going to buy another green herb as well. And then we're going to go with this. Still not going to use any guns yet. Kick. Missed the kick. So some of these zombies spawn up faster than others. And what I tried to do is I tried to time... I try to time it so that my kick doesn't go into the invincibility frames. And what I mean by that is when zombies are spawning in, there's a certain point where they don't take damage and they don't they aren't affected by skills. Slow. Ooh. So you see how I swung twice there and the first time I didn't hit the zombie? I was trying to hit the trap, but the first time I didn't hit the zombie. And those are the invincibility frames, so I don't want to waste my abilities. Turning off the lights in this area is a really good move. You can turn the lights back on. But lights off in that area is a clutch, 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 clutch move by the mastermind, and I think it's really underrated. So right now we're looking for the security guard. We haven't seen him yet. This match is going pretty well, thank God. I've been playing a bunch of these, and sometimes they're just not going well. Trap right here. We blew up. Took five seconds. Not a big deal. Can't see. Turn on the lights. Here we go. Now we can see. Zombie boy's not in here, so we're just going to keep going. Keep wrapping around. Take the ammo for later. Listening to the cameras behind me, he's activating something. Sam's gonna kick open. Okay, Mr. X is here. We gotta be. We gotta. We gotta move. We gotta move. Good. You can knock open a pulverize. We gotta move. We gotta get out of here. We gotta clear out the zombies so we can run. Can you use fever skill because he's swinging, and that'll help our team a lot. Watch this trap here. Now we just gotta kite him. I think they're doing pretty good. They're running away. You can't sit here and fight Mr. X. You just got to get away from him. I used I used my fever skill because we were caught up in a corner there. So we could take a lot of hits and it seemed to have worked. Crap. Oh, no. That was a long reach. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. All right. Nobody's helping. Oh, we just lost 30 seconds. I did not think he was going to be able to grab me from that distance. Well, sorry, team. But what I tried doing right away was he tried pulverizing right away. And I can kick a pulverize down. And a pulverize is when he grabs you and then squeezes your head. Which is what he just did. To me. Um, I'm going to try to get over to Val. Hopefully Mr. X's timer goes down by the time I need to get over there. I'm going to kick you out of the way just because I don't have time for you. I don't have a gun so I can't really do anything here. And I already used up my kick. Oh, she freed him. Thank God. Okay, we just got to stay away. Stay away, stay away. Okay. Now heal. I know. Work on you. Oh, no! No! Oh, come on. Well, we just lost 30 seconds because I tried healing and the game let go for me. The game has a lot of clunks and I really hope they work them out. That's one of them. Unfortunately. So we just lost a lot of time and a good assistance from Valerie there because sometimes you hold the A button the game's like mm, are you sure you want to hold the A button so that's what happened there let's get out of the way machine gun you guys ready to do this who even have we we haven't even found the security guard yet so we only have two minutes but it could be turned around pretty okay since we already got through Mr. X Check this out. He's got to be smart about how we handle this. Where's the security guard? There he is. All right, someone else going first because he might bite. There, now I can kick him over. And we can clear him. Mr. X shouldn't be around for a while, so we can kind of group up if we need to. Oh, my God, die. Now, I picked up... Oh, crap. He's locking the doors behind us. I picked up the key. I really don't think I should be the one with it, but... We're here, liquor. Oh, I do. Kick the liquor so he flips over. I'm just trying to take it out. Something I should say about repair kits is you want a few of them in case you get clumped up a bunch. And the repair kits automatically heal your weapon. You don't have to manually do it, which is nice. Let's try to get out of here. I have my fever skill in case things get bad. Again, Mr. X is gone, so we don't got to worry too much about him. I don't know where the final panel is. I don't remember if I checked early to see if it was in the storage room at all. So we're going to try to hope that it's over here. It's not. Okay. Well, we got to backtrack then. Is the team getting whooped over here? No, they're doing good. I got to backtrack all the way as the person with the key. Usually you don't want Tyrone doing it because he's the protector. 
And I'm sitting here not protecting we anyone right now. You know what I mean? You to get I'm assuming the last panel's over here. Yep, it is. Okay, let's try to clear some of these out. Here we go. We're getting another plus 30 seconds from this, and then we just gotta hope that the team is smart enough to run to the exit. I'm gonna try to take some green herbs here and some umbrella credits. These will save me a lot of money later. And now we're good to go to the third area, which is great. So let's take a right. Something to know about the third area is there's two lifts. There's a left one and a right one. So the left one's right as you get out of the stairs, right one is to the right. You want the right one to be down immediately. Because if it's not, you're gonna get stuck. So that can be one of the things you focus on right away. We gotta get out of here. Oh, grenade launcher, nice. Come on, team. Come on, team. Everyone together. Where's Jan? Where's... It's always a Jan. It's always a Jan. I have... It's always a Jan. Come on. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Now he's down. Can you please use your ult? That was a really good try. Okay, we'll pick him up and then we can go. Oh my god, he used his ult, he used his ult. I'm gonna do this so we don't take damage. Jan, Jan! We could... Everybody... Oh my god. Oh, Jan! What's really great about that is he wasted his ult. That was so nice. That's one thing that's nice about when people kind of like don't know what they're doing. Is that sometimes the mastermind gets a little frisky and he wastes his ult. So we don't have to worry about his ult for another four and a half minutes here. So, nice. Or 420 seconds. Is that four and a half minutes? Something like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna buy Sledgehammer now, and I might just go full Sledge here. And then, I'm gonna take a Molotov, because that could be really nice for the armored zombies that pop up. I, I'm, th I'm considering Shotgun. We have quite a bit of credits in here, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna buy Shotgun, just, to, just in case. Because you pick up a lot of ammo as you go. And then I'm gonna buy some ammo, and then I'm good to go. Not a very efficient way of ending I'm gonna get rid of the life. get rid of the bat. And now are we all no I'm gonna do my shortcuts right here. It takes a little while, but once you're set up, you're good to go. So he's gotta hustle now. That was a smart play. Smart play. Need help now though. Okay, I'm just gonna run seeing as how he didn't really do any of his objectives here. Not objectives, he didn't really do anything else in terms of Ooh, good kick. He didn't put any zombies down, so he did his objectives. Mastermind, really, his only objective is to stop us. Girl, you could have... Fever skill? Oh, I don't have my fever skill because we used it for Mr. X. Okay, we got to find the first area. And that is this one. Okay, perfect. That worked out for me. So I'm going to use an enhancing spray to make it so I can do more damage. And I'm just going to try to take this out with my sledge. Seems like I'm by myself here. I don't see any zombies coming up on me. He's not putting any on me either. Oof. So we might not win this. Time's a little low. But I think you guys are getting a pretty good idea of what you should be doing here, right? So that right area over there, we didn't clear or bring the lift down yet, I think. But now we got pretty lucky here in that we have... She didn't kill, she didn't kill it. Oh my god, die. Here we go. Ten seconds worth. People are just walking into these traps. Gotta look at the ground, guys. Gotta look at the ground. Gotta look at the ground, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna say you're trying to get this on. I'm not really sure what the mastermind's doing. He seems like he's just kind of giving us a freebie here, so I'm gonna take it. Sam's really good at clearing these with a sledgehammer. If you ever play Sam, he does so much damage with sledgy. What, Mr. X already? Oh my god. Already? Okay, we gotta keep going then. We gotta try to loop the best we can. Bring it on. I'm gonna try to help her take damage. Hope that he does something silly here. I'm gonna hope she pulverizes. Okay, good. Means I can free her. Now we gotta run the other way. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was what we needed. Bad move by Mr. X, and I'm gonna take it. So we gotta find our final objective, which is probably on the other side of the map. <laughs> and you see how that lift is in the way? That's what I'm saying. You gotta get out of that area with the lift. Or you need to go ahead and put that lift down, I should say. Oh, I didn't realize I'm a shotgun out. The damage is really spotty with the shotgun. Don't, 
Just gonna clear these out of the way. Someone's gonna die up there. Unless they can go ahead and clean them up, but... I think Jan's bringing that down now, which is good. Sitting here getting a few seconds here and there. Trying to pick stuff up as we go. I don't know how I'm doing... Oh, I'm, not, I'm out of repair kits. Okay. Um, well, let's just keep going here. Hopefully I find a repair kit on the way. I don't want to lose my sledgehammer. Alright. Zombie dog's dead. Hoping I find a repair kit. Clear the traps. I only have so much ammo here. I'm really low. I need to... Not a very efficient way of ending your life. Okay, Molotov could be good here. Someone gonna help? Nope. I'm gonna get bit. I'm gonna lose 15 seconds. I tried to walk around him. It didn't work out. No one's over here for some reason, and it sucks. Okay, we gotta clear this. Gonna, I don't have enhancing spray, do I? No, so we just gotta start shooting and hope we can clear. Stop running into traps. Like, think about all the traps they ran into, chat. Oh, crap. Okay, I use my ult so we can actually take hits here. Wow, I can't even take a hit. So I might die here. Hopefully they can run to the exit. I don't think they're going to try to pick me up. They probably should have tried, though. Oh, they're not even going to try. Okay. Well, they're going to lose the time that comes with me dying. If we're lucky, Val's going to get on over to the exit. And one of them will escape. They gotta sit there for a little bit. Final exit's opening. Activating emergency overdrive. So I'm gonna die. And I might be able to run over there. Hopefully they get the lift down. Supply zombies over by me, but not picking me up cost them a lot of time now. They should have done it. They would have got plus 15 seconds. And now they're at minus 30. So I'm just gonna rush over there. I don't have time to buy stuff. I know how to get there. As long as the lift doesn't go up, the mastermind could put the lift up on me. Looks like everyone's over. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Get off of him. Don't know what's going on. Time to go. Did we make it? We made it! Oh, we were totally stuck! Emotional roller coaster, I would say. <laughs> we did it. So that's how you play. I hope I talked through a bunch of the different things that we could be doing as Tyrone there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see me do any other things or make any other videos, let me know. We cleared in just under 15 minutes. There's... I can do videos for different characters as well. There's a bunch of different things that they're all really good at. I think Tyrone is very, very, very important, mainly because of his kick and his ability to protect when things get bad. You noticed a few times where I would kick and flip a liquor over or kick somebody out of a pulverized from Mr. X or I, excuse me, or I you know, flipped over a zombie that was being controlled, that's a big deal because all of those do a lot of damage also protecting the whole crew with the fever skill, you can just listen if you hear Dr. X or you see that he's about to start swinging on somebody, or you can start seeing that the timer's going down really fast, that means the machine gun's being used, like second, 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 second second, second, like that, that means the machine gun's being used those are situations where you can use your fever skill to protect your whole team and if you have any other questions, like I said, let me know. We, I haven't done a Valerie video. I haven't done a Sam video. If you all want me to do a video on how to counter Mr. X, I think I showed it a little bit in here. But there's a lot of different things you can do. Loop him, flashbang him, make him go through doors. When he punches, he always punches in a pattern. It's always left, right, left, right. So you can time when he's going to use his arm to just walk right around him. There's a lot of different things you can do. I'm excited for the full game. Game comes out on April 3rd. If you enjoyed this video, it helped you. You want to see more? We're going to cover everything, the single player and a lot more resistance with all the different maps and characters and all that type of jazz. Go ahead and subscribe. We stream every night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. That's where we've been doing a lot of our content. That's how I know how to play. We've been streaming. Feel free to follow me over there as well. Link will be in the description. And with that, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this win in Resident Evil Resistance. And then I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.